Most, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, whose name is Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth. The servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying, laboring in this truth, in this doctrine unto you. I say shalom. Take off your red, white, and blue shades, you Israelites. All right, because things are heating up. All right, we're going to have... Eventually, a world's war is going to take place, all right? And these devils, all right, these Edomites are going to be looking for you, Jake, to be patri more patriotic than you ever have been, okay? But you got to you gotta see through the bullshit, all right? And a lot of Jakes are waking up to Esau's bullshit, and now they need to wake up to this truth, okay? But they got to come, you got to come out of America, all right, spiritually, all right? And, you know, that's the first thing you got to do, all right? You know, when, 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 when shit really starts to pop off, you know, there's going to be a lot of Jakes out there, you know, that's going to be down with the red, white, and blue, all right? And, but there's going to be a lot of Jakes out there that know something's up and something ain't right. It's Jake feel like that already, okay? But Esau's going to, you know, they always, every four years, they push that patriotic shit on you. Go out and vote, go out and vote, all right? They really going to push that, sh that, that, that same, you know, mentality on, on mainly our people. It's always, they always got to get the black vote, right? All right, but it's not just about the vote. It's about once this war kicks off, they're going to want all hands on deck. All right, whether you're being drafted, they're going to want, you know, they're going to want you to send funds. It's, it's going to be everyone's attention is going to be on this war and how can we support America, and they want you to be patriotic. But those that have eyes to see are going to know, and they, they know already that America is a newsflash. America does not win World War Three. okay? The sooner you figure that out, the better off you'll be. All right, the, the closer you 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 may have a shot at salvation. You figure that out, like yo, America's not winning this war. Let me jump off the Titanic. Let me not even board the Titanic. Okay, because a lot of J Israelites, two thirds of our people are going to go down with the ship. Okay, and, and you know th th that alliance is eventually going to come with that MOTB. All right, but hey, you know th this this place has never been all right a, a safe haven. For our people, okay? You may feel like you're safe, but more Jakes have, you know, Jakes is getting killed more than ever, all right? And, 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 and you know, by the hands of these devils, by the hands of our own people, which these devils allow to, which these devils allow to happen, okay? They don't enforce any laws against, you know, uh, 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 what they call so-called black-on-black crime or anything like that, all right? Jake, it's time for our people to wake the hell up, man. All right, these devils are not for us. These devils have never been for us. This system, this setup, this whole infrastructure has not been for us, okay? We're nothing but debt slaves here, okay? Where we, where we just, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, trying to, making it check to check, okay? All right, the, the majority, 99.9% uh, uh, of Jake is struggling out there. That other, that 0.1% is the niggas that sold out, that's some athletes or entertainer that got a little bit of money or something, but they, they bigger slaves than us. At the end of the day, this is clearly not our rest. All right, Jake. Got, Jake got to realize, man. Yeah, and there's a lot of Jakes out there that that do. All right, the higher ups, the lower, you know, lower Jake, you know, in the hood or whatever, they understand that this ain't our rest, but they don't. They don't understand that there's a way out. Okay, the way out is this truth. The way out is, you know, you begin to repent. All right, you turn away from sin. You turn away from this wicked way of life which you've been accustomed to, which is has become the norm. All right, people look at, you know, the way of life here and act, act like it's normal. This ain't normal, okay? It ain't normal to work 35 years, 40 years, and then retire and, and get some weak-ass 401k and Social Security. Your body's beat down, all right? You can't do shit, and you die in five years. And a lot of Jakes can't even fucking retire right now, all right? What do you do when you die? You leave your family that debt. Well, wait, what this is, yeah, well, that's why people have to realize this was a punishment, all right, this captivity coming to america all right and, and it's that 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 american dream that got these niggas you know a, a feeling that they got a chance that they live in a good life okay you know that they american i'm african-american you know these niggas want to be patriotic okay yeah esau is going to give you a chance for you to be patriotic 
all right? Because when he sends your ass over there to the uh, uh, to the so-called Middle East, all right, to to um, to die and, and to die for you know so-called democracy. All right, this is Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. It's polluted. All right. It's spiritually polluted, physically polluted. All right. It, it pollutes the minds of our people. All right. Where, where it, it brings nothing forth but confusion. All right. You got, you know, you don't know if a man's a man, a woman's a man. You don't know which is which now. All right. There's so much confusion out there. Okay. But in this world, it's okay. In America, oh, it's all right. You go any other, any other place in the world with that bullshit and they looking at you sideways even though america does try to push it on these other countries they ain't going for that shit all right let me get um i think it was 59 let me see isaiah 59 58 no, um, 62 it's one of these chapters at the top. Let me, let me, let me see. Um, here we go. 60. Uh, arise, uh, is it 60 and 1? Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. All right? And that light is, your, of course, Yahweh Shai. Okay? But the light also is his truth. All right? In order to see this truth, you have to take off your red, white, and blue glasses and, and 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 stop looking through that 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 lens of of, of you know uh, of Christianity, okay? That lens of of um, democracy, okay? The lens of LGBTQ. That's all American shit. All right, we not American. We're Israelites from our respective tribes. All right, verse two. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. All right? It's going to be a remnant, a elect that's going to rise out of that darkness. Okay? Because we all had the red, white, and blue glasses on. We were always out there celebrating 4th of July, popping fireworks, and, you know, being, you know, so-called patriotic. We all was American at one point. But it's a time for you to cut our people to, to arise and, and awake. All right, to be quickened with the spirit of truth, the spirit of, uh, of true knowledge. All right, um, let me go back to um, Isaiah 6 and 9. Um, Isaiah 6 and 9, he said, Go tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed okay so hey the, the lord is the only way that you can be healed the lord is the only one that can take that american demon that babylon demon off of you all right for you to see like yo damn this we we really living fucked up here all right and, and what, what it's going to take for a lot of jakes is jacob's trouble or when jacob's trouble hit you're going to see how much your government cares about you it ain't going to be like the pandemic where you know you know, hey, we're going to give you an extra $600. You got PPP loans. You know, they was giving handouts left and right. Esau is going to make you, Jake's, Israelites, suffer. Suffer for a long time. You suffer into submission where you 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 want the, the uh, CHIP. You want the MOTB. Yeah, whatever you can make, whatever you can give us to make this, this hell, to make these plagues go away, we'll take it. All right, that's where this devil got you. But it's those that are going to be awakened, that are going to be quickened with the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, quickened with the spirit of truth, all right? And they're going to say, you know, they're going to, hey, they're going to uh, uh, um, lean and depend on the Lord, all right? Lean and depend on this knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures, all right? Have faith, okay? Um, uh, damn, what did I want to get? I just read that. Damn, it was another scripture I wanted to grab. Um I got a few written. I'll just get these. It was another scripture after this I wanted to grab. Um, I'll just read Isaiah 30 and um, 1, 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to jump over to Isaiah 31. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, save the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that and that cover with a covering, 
but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to his sin. All right. So when you believe and you trust in America, Babylon, Egypt, OK, you're 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 really committing iniquity because you're not putting trust in the heavenly father and his son. OK, you're you're giving your you're giving your spirit. All right. Unto another deity. All right. Which is the, the eventually going to be the image uh, of the beast. OK, that you're adding sin to sin or when you when you trust in Amer America, trust in Babylon. All right. A lot of our people, they trust. They think America can't be touched. OK, the average nigga out there, they don't know that Russia got nukes, Iran, North Korea got nukes, uh, uh, China. OK, that they, they have nukes. So they don't they don't realize it's an even even playing field now. All right. Where America just ain't going in and, and, and you know, flexing on fle flexing on countries because the countries, they, they may have it or one of their partners may have it. All right. They're being backed by somebody. So. The average Jake don't realize America's military ain't as their military prowess is not what it once was. OK, but Jake is, you know, Jake, our people, wicked ass niggas, they got the spirit of America. Like, oh, this, the, the American dollar is strong, the strongest economy, uh, uh, um, we got the strongest military. We got all this technology. That technology ain't going to be shit, especially when your Howard Shot comes back with the with the with the chariots. All right. With the host of heaven. All right, thousands upon thousands of chariots. What are you gonna do? Where, where's Esau's technology? Where your technology can be controlled can be can be controlled by the chariots, okay? And that, and that's and that's a fact because over in I want to say in Russia, you had a um, it was reported that a they're not gonna say chariot, but they're gonna they're gonna say a UFO activated and deactivated their nukes, okay? So we know all right that there's a higher power that's in control of all of this. All right. That's what our people need to realize that Esau, Esau may control things in this. I won't even say in this realm, but in, in this world, in this society. But it's the one it's someone that controls him. OK, verse two, that walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. All right. Pharaoh will be your modern day presidents. All right. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. OK. We trust in the we trust in the Heavenly Father, the Almighty. All right, these mother, these Jakes, excuse me, trust in Egypt. They trust in the military. They trust in the dollar. Okay, some of these niggas got they 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 red, white, and blue shades on, they, and, and they and they they glued to their head. They ain't taking them off. They ain't gonna take them off till the missiles come. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust and the and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. All right, a lot of our people are confused out there. They don't understand what the hell is going on. All right, they 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 still riding that American train, and they're gonna ride it all the way uh, uh, to their destruction. Uh, damn, I wanted um, Isaiah 31, 31, 31. Isaiah thirty one and one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and woe means destruction, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and that's symbolic of um Esau's military. Okay, a horse represents power. All right, chariots in the ancient world were you know used for war because they are there are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. The Holy One of Israel is Yahweh Shah. Okay, they're not seeking the Lord. They're seeking they see the power of Babylon, they see the the uh the battleships, the aircraft carriers, the tanks, the drones, the nukes, they see all these things that this devil has. And they feel that it can't be taken down because they trust in the shadow of Egypt. They trust in this military. Watch when this war kicks off. Okay? When people are starting to get deployed and everything, every everything in the news, everything in the social media, World War Three, World War Three, what to do to prepare. You know, how can you assist? How can you help? It's gonna be all out uh, uh floodgates of, of media propaganda pushing this war, and they want you, they want you, mainly you Israelites, to be patriotic. OK, they're going to want you to uh, eventually the ultimate patriotic act is taking that MOTB. All right. Which is that shows your alliance to this beast, to this system, to America. All right. Um, let me grab uh, Psalms uh, 20 and um, verse seven. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh, our power. All right. At the end of the day, the elect 
Those that are chosen to receive salvation, those that are chosen to make it, are going to trust in Yahweh Hashem Shai. At the end of the day, all right, that have eyes to see. All right, I want to, this is the other scripture I want to grab. Proverbs 11 and uh, 21. The hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The righteous, the elect. All right, but join hand, hand, but hand join in hand. Our people are pretty much joined hand in hand with this devil, with this system, okay, with the, the with, with Esau. All right, you're not gonna go unpunished. All right, you better let go the hand and say, hey, I, I, you know, I'm good. All right, and it, it ain't too late to let go that hand, okay? Because if you got you if you uh, uh if you if you got uh if you hold hands with Esau, you know he's gonna bring you down. All right, that's his look at his track record. All right, anyone it, don't get the scripture says never trust thy enemy. Don't let this devil close to you because he's gonna pull you down and try to take your spot. All right. Let me see. Um, oh, I want to grab this. It goes with the scripture. Um, Job 20, um, 24. Job 24 and verse 24. They are exalted for a little while, but are gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way all as all other and cut off as the top of the ears of corn. All right. Then these devils are. That's what Jay got to realize. You Israelites, these devils are all only being in power for a little while, all right, for, for, for less than 500 years, all right? They're going to be brought low, all right? And if you stay, be joined hand in hand with them, your ass is going to be brought low too, but it's going to be worse for our people, Israelites, all right? Because you should know better. You should know not to trust in man, all right? Not to trust in this system, not to trust in this setup. And it's something in our, in our people's spirit Okay, that know when shit is not right, when shit is wrong. Like, you know, like that whole, you know, it's like a lot of that whole LGBT shit. All right. I, Jake know that that ain't right. Even some of them that go along with it, you know, it, it, it's something ain't right. Like, you know, it's Jake know that sleeping with another, even a lot of wicked niggas out there. There's a lot of wicked niggas. Don't get me wrong. But they know sleeping with another man's wife. That's off. Okay. That that's you know in their mind they may not say it but they thinking like damn it's kind of fucked up but you know that's why Jay got to be destroyed okay because you know in this society in America that's okay okay America you know they allow it they allow it on both sides and more of the women but you know it, everything anything goes in this place all right and that has to be something that our people look at like yo this ain't this ain't that ain't right where, where, where's the structure. Okay, where's the you know? A lot of our a lot of our people are bugged out. You know, I'll say that. You know, you know, a lot of our people are bugged out, and, and they really drank the juice that that Babylon Babylon juice. Okay, where where they drunk the wine, where you know, you know, and they and they continue to do wickedness so much, it 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 feels it's like second nature. It's it's acceptable. It, it's okay. You know, in their mind, it's not sin. It's not going off. That's how long. Our people have been here and have been corrupted by this place. This is Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. All right. This rest, it, it, this is the, the ultimate rest is in Yahweh Shah. All right. It's in this truth. Okay. But what do our people say? We ain't, we, no, we, we. We like it here in America. We doing all right. You know, we get our little food stamps and we get our little Section 8. I got a good paying job that's paying me. You know, I make six figures. I make six figures a year. I'm doing good for myself. All right. That's what our people think. Okay. They, that, that's what they believe. That's when they start to believe in, you know, when Jake really makes it in, in, in their mind, they're successful. That's when they really start to believe in America and the American dream. You know, niggas start, you know, going to vote and, you know, uh, 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 what is that? What is, uh, 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 they start to get on the um, the PTA at the kids' school and start to be involved and in shit in the community because they, you know, they they, they Jake want to Jake wants to be a part of something so bad. All right, Jake wants to be accepted by this devil. All right, but this devil don't accept you. He'll never see you as equal. And why would you want to be equal to someone that you're better than? 
Thus said the scriptures. Okay, we're the apple of the Most High's eye. We're the salt of the earth. All right. Um, let me see what else I had. Uh, let me grab Jeremiah. Jeremiah 51, 51, Babylon. 51 and verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul and be, and be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is a time of the Lord's vengeance he will render unto her a recompense. The Lord is going to recompense. The Lord is going to judge Babylon. But it says, and deliver every man his soul, be not cut, cut off in her iniquity. Come about her. As it says in uh, Deuteronomy, not Deuteronomy, uh, Revelation 18. Come about her, my people. And that's physical, okay? That's, you know, the elect being uh, delivered. Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. And not all the, not just the nations, but our own people have drunken of that wine, that Babylonian wine, and are, and have, are drunk and are still drunk. Okay. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, if, if so be, she may be healed. All right. And, and if Babylon can be healed, you have niggas on the front line with hammers and and, and, and and tool belts and drills and everything trying to build this place back up. All right. But it ain't going to be healed. It's not going to be rebuilt. He would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. All right. That's the, that's the ultimate destruction. Okay, and if you Israelites out there, you understand something's not right about this place. Okay, but you you know Jake's still gonna go out there and vote. All right, they're gonna you know hoping that you know Trump don't get in there. We can't have Trump in there. You know Trump is racist, and you know these niggas is still you know they still mixing the sauce. They still you know they still they still you know they put down they put down the bottle of the Babylonian wine because they know a little bit, but they 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 still sipping out the cup. Okay, they, them niggas going to be destroyed too at the end of the day. But hey, it's that remnant that's going to, you know, eventually open their eyes all the way, come into the light, okay, and, 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 you know, forsake Babylon, okay, because Babylon has completely destroyed our people. The, the majority of our people are completely destroyed, but the Lord has set aside a, a small remnant that, that will come up out of her, that eventually, physically, all right, but first spiritually, and, and repent and turn to the Heavenly Father and, um, you know, do what they got to do to receive salvation. Okay. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakudash. Shalom.